Hi guys, good morning from Portacot, Nigeria. So today I figured out the last get to know me I know was very not really detailed and uh, I've gotten a lot of new family member. Oh my god, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much, especially from the last collaboration I did with Unifred. Thank you so so much. I truly truly appreciate it. Thank you. A lot of you might not really know this girl you see right now. So I decided to just do a real or uh, get to know me detailed one. And also I did when I clocked 3k on YouTube, I did a question and answer segment. So I might probably had the question. I didn't really want, don't want this video to be lengthy. So I'll just go straight to the get to know me and also go straight to the question and answer answer the question immediately well so i'm going if you're new to my channel my name is uche i'm vlogging from port Arcot, nigeria so let me go straight to the first question so the first one is where do you grow up i grew up in ondo state nigeria ondo state akura is the capital of ondo state but i grew up in owo I don't know if you're if you're from Ondo State, you know where Owo is. Another town in Ondo State. That's where my I grew up. That's where my father grew up. That was where my grandfather, my grandparents grew up. So my family, we are like Yoruba mix, Igbo family kind of because my grandparents understand Yoruba very well. You understand? So that was where I grew up. Where do you currently stay? Your baby girl is living in Port Arcot, Nigeria. First best friend. My first best friend will probably be um Francisca, yes, we are still friends today, but we are not that best friend, best friend again. Yeah, we, uh, how tall am I? Um, um, five seven. <laughs> I think I'm five seven. Yes, I'm. I'm not five six because I'm above five six. So I'm five seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dog or cat? Dog, definitely dog. I'm, for this moment during high school, will probably be when I was in definitely high school. My friend Eunice, as at that time started a menstrual cycle and then i've not started and i didn't know what it was all about so and i met her in the pool of blood in class so i was shivering i was shouting that someone has uh, injured her. i was just you know everybody was not really laughing at me it was as though i was the only girl in my class who doesn't know what menstruation is you know <laughs> I was so naive, you guys. I was so, so naive. I was so ashamed of myself. I think that was the most embarrassing and the funnest moment through during high school. Okay, I'm going to maybe review my year mentoring a very remarkable and a very lovely year very soon. So when is my next birthday? Definitely, I'm going to review my age. And you guys will know how old this baby girl is, okay? This question is, what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink would be water. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of Coke. Or I drink Coke once in a while, once in one month, Sprite. I don't take alcohol at all. And uh, I, I think it's water, water. What's your spirit animal like? Uh, I don't believe in spirit animal. Yes, uh, I don't believe in spirit animal. So I wouldn't say, I don't know what it is. And so I don't have, an answer to that i'm sorry I'm sorry one is what's your your life goal like my life goal is definitely to be able to um i really want to have my own airline company yeah that's my life goal i want to have my own airline company in nigeria and i'll be traveling to every part of the world and uh, i want to have home for uh, old people, old people, then have an orphanage home, these two, and just have my own airline company and have every other things in place, you know. Definitely helping the needy, like just charity work, basically. I, I think I, whenever I work, um, I'm, maybe I'm going to document that. I've been documenting it bit by bit. I'm going to compile it together. When I move around, maybe in around my one or so, when I see people that are homeless, people that don't have a place, most times i walk past them i start crying and look i i wonder how a little child would not have a roof over his or her head like children you know it hurts me so much as i feel so much pain when i see them so i know and most times when we do things like this it comes from passion the passion we have so i think i have passion for that kind of thing i don't like seeing people mistreated i don't like seeing people odds of seeing people um it's privileged i don't like seeing it so that's one of my life goals yeah 
Okay, so what sport do you play? Oh, my favorite sport is football. Football is the only thing I watch on TV. I'm a Man U fan. If you're a Man U fan watching me, leave it in the comment section. I'm a Man U fan and I love watching football a whole lot. I watch football so, so much. Yeah. And uh, the only sport I played when I was in school was also football. My other sister played football. She was a keeper then. She, she plays very well. My other brother played football. I played too. But though I was very, very asthmatic when I was growing up, so... All those activities are to court day they teach you school school did not even allow me to do most of them because at the end of the day i do pass out or all but I've, at grown it jesus has healed me completely praise god what language do you speak oh yeah like i told you because i grew up in the western part of nigeria i speak yoruba was actually my first language the very first language i learned was yoruba language before i learned english and before Igbo, before uh, idoma language you understand by the way if you don't know my grandmom is from benue state yeah my grandma is from benue so my mom is partly Igbo, partly benue so her family members across nigeria Okra? <laughs> okay are you singing or taking oh taking taking away <laughs> anyway what describe your fashion sense mm, do i have a fashion sense you guys i don't know i just like looking good wear good clothes if you can afford designers wear designers if you can't afford wear good gold just wear good clothes just be neat be good looking and that's all how many siblings i have three adorable siblings oh my god my siblings are the best siblings in the world yeah i have a brother and two sisters so we are four in numbers one girl and three girls we are all married all have children staying in our husbands and their wife's house <laughs> If there's anything like that and we have siblings beautiful beautiful maybe i'm going to leave my oh, picture here ah, ah, ah. go to um fast food order my go-to will probably be in fast food um for food um i might just go with their if they have chinese rice yeah chinese fried rice kind of and chicken or fish not chicken fish i don't like fast food chicken i don't like fast food chicken so fish um chinese rice like fried rice either chinese rice or fried rice then a bottle of chewed 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 water i'm good to go yeah i'm not that expensive you guys <laughs> um do you use a pc or mac i use pc yeah i use pc because mac um i use pc let me stop there <laughs> and i use an android phone i use a samsung phone yeah this was the phone i started vlogging with before i bought my camera so this phone yeah uh i grew up i don't know i grew up in undo state but when we were i grew up in undo state I don't, i've mentioned that earlier then around seven eight years old we moved over to abuja so i finished my primary school in jabi primary school finished my secondary school in guarimpa stroke jua secondary school if you know abuja very well you know guarimpa secondary school you know jua secondary school yeah that was i finished my secondary school and uh before uh, i got admission and i went to lagos to school before then then my parents moved to anambra state Oka, to reside yeah so then before my before we lost our dad that was four years ago we lost our dad and my mom has been there don't worry i'm going to do a get to know um a mom and mom daughter tag very soon i'll be traveling to oka very soon i have a lot of things to do in oka you guys check out the video and uh, i have a lot of videos to do with my mom a whole lot of videos to have something to document with her so so expect that video with my mom okay, okay. tell us one thing about you we wouldn't know one thing about me uh you wouldn't know what are the things about me one thing about me uh, uh one thing about me that you guys might probably not know is um i cry like a baby when i'm excited <laughs> yeah when uh when i'm so joyful when i'm overwhelmed maybe by god's love when i'm so overwhelmed when something just happened that i'm so happy the first expression is the first expression will probably be crying yeah i think that's one thing about me that you guys don't know that was that would be the first expression that you guys might not know yeah so i'm going straight to the there's a plain person to the question and answer section yeah the first question is from ebu bay she's a youtuber too she said my question is at what age did you get married 
and uh, I don't know if you can see this was from my this thing cannot focus this was from my community tab some of the questions when I clocked 3k so I'm going to answer the questions there at what age did you get married and do you wish you waited more or married earlier i wish i married earlier you guys yeah i married very young too uh i think it's a trend in my family my mom married very early uh my other sister married at 23 mm -hmm. my youngest uh, my 23 24 my uh, my younger sister around 23 24 too so i think a bit early around my 23 to 24 years although i got married and uh, i'm not sure i'm regretting it i wish i married earlier safe yeah I say congratulations darling my question is what's your husband honest opinion about you on youtube does does he have any reservation at all more wins darling thank you so much um uh no reservation whatsoever uh, yeah he actually yeah do did consent before i started my youtube but before now he told me i know his rules and regulation is uh, he stated it out for me and uh you know and most time most of the video i do is aware of it yeah so even the day i was doing seven things i did in my seven years of marriage it was it was just sitting in front of me and i was making that video i was even laughing the, the other video i made about um living with a man for the first time it was right there like most time if i miss some point it will tell me the point and the camera will still be on so you know all those side you guys might not see because i've caught it off so my husband is really really surprised so it just tells me do my thing just know your boundaries and know you are a married woman basically so and i need i have to respect myself as a married woman yeah <laughs> yeah this is another question this is another question i received so much i'm going to address it yeah how do you balance youtube work family where that time where you felt discouraged how do you deal with discouragement yeah okay how do i balance oh my god the balancing thing is something that we have to just i, I actually learned balancing recently like not putting myself under pressure when i started i vlog every day every day i post like three videos every day i don't even have time to do cooking i don't even have time for my family and i still go to work so most time pressure because i'm taking a four thousand watch hour and all those play pressures so basically so now and i walk and have church activities i have things so what i do is i schedule my time like today is my video day so i might probably make two three videos if you see that video today if it's a vlog i might probably be compiling the vlog all along before you know so and uh, if i don't post for like three days i just give myself a break like three days ago i did not post i have to just give myself a break and uh, know then i have to balance up knowing like you just have to know the the best time like i don't edit with my video during the day i like editing my at night when everybody i'm done with dinner i've said to everybody i sit down and edit my video and before i sleep when the video is done editing i will all work on my thumbnail work on my tab work on everything and she do it for the next day so most of the next day the thing will just auto or publish itself so it's even when i start saving those questions so oh that's true i just publish my video but for then i've checked every day do i did my tag and everything so i try as much as i can not to i made a mistake earlier but i've really learned and knowing that family comes first you have your career youtube is not the only thing i do i have to balance it up knowing the right time you know when family is family you know where you're supposed to focus on your work and you know when to do youtube since right now because of this pandemic i don't do a lot of vloggers now i've seen video most times i plan my sit down video three maybe i know i'm talking about three topic i write it down and i change my top like just change your top and that all and sit down and talk and upload your video you understand they know your schedule about your upload and all those things so that's what works for me and i i think is really good the way i've um the way i've program programmed it is really working for me yeah so um uh someone asked me what state are you from yeah that should be in this video okay did i mention my state oh my god i'm from anambra state i thought i mentioned i stayed in my get to know me yeah i'm from anambra state i'm from oka my husband is from oka yeah my father is from oka my mom is from oka my grandmother is from oka <laughs> anyway yeah i'm from oka anambra state so if you're watching me from anambra you're watching me from oka please leave it and if you're from oka making video that's why i love lily so much ah hi hello beauty hello beauty 
uh, this is Lily Pop from Oka. She mentioned Oka very well. Like a lot of people even fell in love with her because she's logging from Oka. So always mention your location if you're YouTube. I'm giving YouTube tips right now. Okay. Yeah. Questions on Instagram. So let me read it out. The first question is how do you manage your nine to five job channel, uh, your YouTube channel, your mother live duty and stay coming? Yeah. I think I've answered that question. Yeah. Another person asked, let me, I'll call the name Lily Pop asks. <laughs> Lily Pop TV, you know her now, my girl. My question is, why are you so beautiful? Then when will I see you? Oh my God, Lily Pop. Yeah, I can't wait to see you. Oh my God, I can't wait to see you. Okay, girl. <laughs> Don't worry now. We will talk. Yeah, we'll talk. You know, you're in my, you're in my town now. You know. Don't worry. That's the first question. Oh my God. Don't worry. I'm going to see you very soon. Oh my God. This long interstate lockdown. She just this pandemic. She just be over already yeah i'm going to see you very soon last question for this segment is do you film in bulk and ahead of time um we last you for a month or so yeah no um did i say yes or no yeah that's some video i've made june i've not published that video i have like four videos most times after making video maybe i've made like three four videos and uh, maybe the last one i'm so exhausted i just feel my spirit is not really there in that video i'll just take the video down i'll not upload the video so most times yes i film in bulk especially when i have things written down topic written down that i really want to talk about so the only things i change my top i see that especially if it's a sit down video yeah you have to plan and if you know you don't have the time for me i would not started work so i it's actually when i was working i planned videos like that but now right now i'm not working so most times if any topic comes to my head i'll come down sit down make the video in my house and upload you understand so the book um filming will come when i start Start working yeah you guys you know we are still resting at home okay <laughs> so god has been awesome thank you all for your support oh my god without you you guys you guys i'm finished on youtube i bless god uh for bringing you guys my way and subscribing to my channel loving my content uh commenting um engaging oh my god i don't take it for granted at all no it's god that brought you my way and i know you guys uh a whole lot of things will be happening on this channel so don't give up on my channel please subscribe if you're yet to subscribe turn on the notification bell leave a comment as always i'm always in my comment section and to answer you my description is filled with things read up my description to know more about me and uh thank you so much so much i really appreciate your love and support we are growing and i pray for more growth more increment and uh till i come your way next time please please stay glued to this channel till i bless you real real good i love you all bye bye